two ships P and Q are moving with constant uh, velocities. The velocity of P is 9i minus 2j. So let's just note that down. Whereas the velocity of Q is 4i plus aj, and they're both measured in kilometers per hour. So make sure we definitely remember that for a later question. Anyway, as for this one, we just need to figure out how to calculate the direction of motion of P given your answer as a bearing. So what this really means, every time we're involved with direction of motion, this is just simply looking at the directional vector or in terms of mechanics, the velocity vector. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and plot this on, on the IJ graph. So just make a little X, Y looking axis. Now, this is telling us that it's moving east, nine across is moving nine across, but two down. So it should be something like here. Okay, so we pretty much can just draw a dot line here. So and we can just say that the direction of P is moved 9 across to the right and 2 down. And all we have to do is simply calculate the angle. Now, because we're working out the bearing, it's always from the north line, right? So we need to find out the total angle from the north line straight to theta. So basically, we're looking at a bearing of literally 90 degrees for, because of the right angle, um, 90 degrees plus the the value of theta and that's it this should be the result we're looking for now let's go ahead and calculate um this right angle triangle here so just plotting over here just to make it easy looking nine and two and we put the angle here we just need to re just recall our soccer tour here so just recalling that every time you the that the length opposite angle is known as the opposite and that um, the angle next and the length next to it is always known as the adjacent. The long side is always a hypotenuse, but we don't really need that because that's that's irrelevant. So the two things that's related to this one from Soka Toa would be the Toa. Okay, guys, because Toa has opposite and adjacent, so it must be the tan one. So we can say instantly that the equation of interest would be tan of the angle theta equals opposite of adjacent, so two over nine. That's it. Now, all you want to do is just tan inverse this. So make sure your calculator is always in degree mode, yeah? If you guys don't know, if you guys don't know the difference yet, so don't even, don't worry about degree or radians. But make sure you, it's in degree mode and then tan inverse the solution and you should get 12.5. Uh, so theta is 12.5 degrees. And that's it, guys. That's literally how you do it. And now you just add 90 to it. So plus 90. And you should get a total bearing of 100 and 2.5 degrees voila now a common question is this i mean it, there's nothing about position vector but usually if you're given a position vector and velocity why do we not use a position vector well that's simply because a position vector is just simply a coordinate and a coordinate has no angle or direction it's just a single point whereas a velocity like this is a direction this is telling us it's moving nine blocks to the right and two down every single hour so it's always moving like this. So it's always moving in this direction every single hour. So that's why we know there is a direction. And the nearest degree would simply just be 103 degrees.